So if somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them because they're going to be charged a huge sum for all that uh, greenhouse gas that's being emitted. Coal is incredibly important to your economy there in West Virginia. Now, Senator Obama told the San Francisco Chronicle earlier this year that coal companies will pay so much money in fines due to excess emissions, they will be bankrupt. Coal is critical, as I said, to your state's economy. How do you interpret these statements? Basically, he understands this country must become secure. We should not be dependent on foreign oil. In order to do that, we've got to use all of our resources. Coal is going to be a major factor for the next 20, 30 or more years. But we have a responsibility to clean it up. West Virginia, we understand that. We're going to have a very aggressive renewable portfolio. But we need that partnership. And Barack brings that leadership to us. He brings that partnership coming from a coal state himself. Now, they're going to have to pay for the carbons, whether a cap and trade or whether it's in a carbon tax. Governor, how do voters there in your state respond to Obama saying we need to clean up coal so that the emissions are cleaner? They respond the same as when I say it. I know we need to clean up it and we need to make sure that we're more responsible. But with that, now we have a responsibility, but also we have the knowledge and technology. And we can do that with a good partner in Washington. And that's why it's so imperative that Barack become the next president to work with us in a sensible, reasonable approach. I just need someone that understands what we're trying to accomplish and works with me. And that's why I think it's imperative. Say it ain't so, Joe, please. Say it ain't so. That's not what I want to hear, Joe, and I got a right to know. Say it ain't so, Joe, please. Say it ain't so. I'm sure they're telling us lies, Joe, please tell us it ain't so. Well.